Hey anyone, welcome back to Visually Happening. I'm Victoria and this segment is Visually Growing. Um, I want to start off by pardoning how my hair looks right now. There's a reason why. It kind of looks like I haven't brushed it. I'll get to that in a minute, but here we are at the end of summer. Um, I feel like I didn't record enough outside when we had beautiful weather, so I figured before the cold weather comes, I figured I'd end it here right in front of my house. So let's get to it. These are the products that I used this month. All right, so step one this month is brought to us by Hask again, but it's the Argan Oil from Morocco. Step three, this is going to be a little bit more different than I've been doing. So, um, so I've recently spoke to a salon that specializes in curly hair that I'm going to start going to at the end of the month. And they told me that everything I was doing with the co-wash was completely wrong. Um, I thought when I looked it up online that you could use conditioner as long as you scrape your scalp like crazy as a co-wash. It turns out I'm completely wrong and you need a cleansing conditioner or cleansing shampoo. Um, that would be the co-wash. So I'm going to be looking into cleansers. Um, anyone who says maintaining curly hair isn't that expensive is a liar, but whatever, want new things. And I'm also adding a hair mask at the end of each condition as well. It's just another form of protection, something else I've looked into. There's a YouTuber called Sunkiss Alba where she gave a video on it that I watched a few months ago. I just didn't know when or where to implement it into my videos. So I figured I would start now. So I'm going to start with my co-washing with Deva Curl No Poo. This month's conditioner is going to be Mark Anthony's Kinky Girls with Wild Curls. And now the hair mask I'm going to start this month with is the Manoy Repairing Hair Mask from Carol's Daughter. This one I actually got as a present for my aunt. So I'm excited to try the cleansing conditioner and this hair mask as well. Um, and I'm going to fit it into my routine now.
step three of the month of August. This month's leave-in conditioner is Twisted Sisters Intensive Leave-in Conditioner with Coconut, Avocado, and Almond Oil. done with the leave-in conditioner it's onto the cream again it's twisted sister curl activator cream coconut avocado and almond oils and last but not least there is Amila legend rejuvenating ritual Rejuvenating oil. Um, I didn't actually buy. Again, this was another product that my Aunt Damaris gave me because she had so many products and she saw what I was doing with this. So again, I'm very grateful to you, Aunt Damaris. <laughs> Microfiber towel. I'm also a huge dummy because I forgot to put on my face mask while I was doing this. Don't know if you can really even see the little greens all over the place. Now I'm gonna go eat because I'm starving and that is step three for August. So there you have it. Those are the products I use and now since it's the end of the month I'm going to now review it and I want to start it off with of course the Argan Oil Deep Conditioner Hair Treatment. Um, I'm finding, um, well this is the Hask product, I'm finding that I really do like Hask. Um, my favorite thing about Hask more above than anyone else is that they offer the actual packets. Like they, they let me sample and experience and see what it is I would like about them. So off the bat, they already have my praise on that. But this one specifically, again, anything with argan oil from Morocco or Moroccan oil in general has always been something good. This smells wonderful and I highly recommend it to anybody. Now, since I started something new this month, something that I was told that um, I was kind of doing this wrong this whole time, um, I should have been using a cleansing shampoo like I mentioned before. Um, so the one that I picked, the Deva Curl, um, I know that Deva Curl is one of the best curling products out there. The problem is how expensive it is, but the reason being is because it really is one of the best. And the smell that this one gives, um, it smells just like a hair salon. Like it smells just, like it, ha it has that, that, I don't know, that professionally salon-y, homemade, homemade? No, not really homemade, but in a salon smell. I said salon like eight times, but whatever. It smelled really great and I felt it actually tingling like in my scalp. I felt like it was doing something. So I will definitely be on the lookout for cleansing conditioners um, or what you would use before your actual conditioner. So I definitely, um, they sell these sample ones at Ulta, um, but they definitely have bigger ones at Ulta or you can get them online. Most of the variety exists online, unfortunately, and I definitely, I hate shopping online because I want the product now. So if you're someone like me and you want to give it a shot, if you look by the, the register at Ulta, they have them there. Okay, so for this conditioner, what I, I mean, has all the good ingredients in it. Um, it has the shea butter, coconut oil, argan oil, and avocado oil. Um, it smelled great. It was thick and consistent enough that it felt like it was doing something for me. So. And Mark Anthony is just a really good brand anyway. I really like the blend of colors in the bottle, which is why I picked this one. So, um, you know, don't mind me. But I think that this was a good buy. This one was good. Now, the Carol's Daughter Hair Mask. Another new addition to my new routine. Um, this, I actually think I'm going to use this until it runs out because I'm, to be honest, I've just, I'm spending so much money buying new products every month that something like a hair mask, I feel like I want to just continue using it. It's such a big tub and look how, this is how much I used in the last month. Like I used like surface level and I mean for, for me this smells exactly what summer smells like to me since I 
was ever born. So for me, I want to use this for as long as I can. So just discretion. It's going to be my routine until it runs out. So this one, other than how it smells, another how big it is, Carol's Daughter in general is a great product, a great brand, and I felt like this really did way more for me than I thought. Like it sealed everything in. It was the last step in the shower, and this was great. Love this one. Definitely recommend it. Now, like I said, I want to start using families more often than not. Um, I. I'm starting to feel like if I keep mixing different products, different brands, I might be counteracting exactly what these brands are trying to do for me, which is way, maybe why I didn't like certain brands in the past or whatever. So, um, fortunately, they didn't have oil for this company, but um, the Twisted Sister, the leave-in conditioner, and the cream, absolutely love this brand. Um, it was very important to make sure, like I said before, make sure that you get the for all kinds of curls and textures all curl textures and types um, unless you I think one of them has specifically like coily hair but for someone like me who I don't have specifically coily hair I would need something with all so make sure you read that at the label but other than that I mean this was great there's so much of this product that on a, if I was doing this normally this would last me for a while but um, I definitely recommend this brand and this product to anybody um, any kind of curl type so love it yes and last but not least the oil um, you know, this was given to me by my aunt as well as the Carol's daughter. But um, since I didn't go out and actually look for this one, um, I decided to use it because it says that it will transform dry and damaged hair. And curly hair goes through everything, so I figured why not actually just... It was given to me, and it's a good product to use to revitalize your hair. So, if you can find this anywhere, it was really good. I really liked it. I believe my aunt got it at Sally's. So that is the products for this month. Um, now the reason why my hair kind of looks the way it does is because I'm getting to my big help of this month, which is to go to a curling specialized salon, which I'm about to leave for right now. I have a very hard time about this. I've had a really hard time. Like one of the first things I was told when I first started this channel was that I should go to a curl specialist salon. And I looked into it and I saw mostly like the Davis salons in the city. And for the most part, they're really, really expensive. So at first I was like, let me just do it this way first. I still wanna stay loyal to my girl that you saw in the first video, Stephanie. And I was, and as time went on, um, and I looked into it more, I ended up finding a salon right here in Long Island in the town of Babylon, which is at least maybe 10 minutes away from me. And so I went in, I spoke to uh, the girl Angela, that she's gonna, who's going to be cutting my hair today, and um, she told me exactly what she's going to do. This is, it's, it's hard for me because I've had Stephanie cutting my hair since I was 15. So for me to have somebody new and doing a specific type of cut to me, I'm definitely nervous and I'm definitely feeling uncomfortable in the sense of I didn't, I don't, you know, want bad blood. Like you can understand if you've been going to the same hairstylist for a long time, like you don't, you know, there's certain, they know your hair, you know? And, um, but I trust Angela. She definitely knows what she's doing. This salon itself is very, very into the curly scene. And um, we're gonna see in a minute how it's gonna turn out. So my big help of the month is the new salon I'm going to be trying called Curl Evolution. Okay, so I'm here at Curl Evolution. This is my new stylist, Angela. And so we're gonna go through, she's gonna cut it how it is now, then we're gonna deep condition it, and then style it. She's gonna help me with how to style it when I go home, and then we're gonna cut it one more time. So, I don't know what to expect, <laughs> but I'm nervous, but I'm good, I'm good. So, let's see.
went from this to this. And this to this. All of this to this. So you can see that it was necessary for me to go from this to this. And uh, that's really it for this month. Um, I really want to thank Sabrina Talbert for suggesting Curl Evolution to me. And of course, all the love back to you, Stephanie, who I will always love. And I really want to thank Angela and the whole team at Curl Evolution for helping me get to this. This is definitely shorter, the shortest I've ever had it in my whole life. But now that I know everything that I know, everything that she's taught me, which I will implement into next month's video, um, I believe the growth will be a lot more full, a lot more rewarding, and a lot more together. So, this is it for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have another video next week. But until then, have a great day if you can, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one.